Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the ELK stack and how we can track the, the Docker environment. So we can get the data about the Docker and how it's uh, look like. And uh, before we are starting, I'll just ask you to subscribe to this channel. I'll be very happy and if you have any questions you can yeah, you can just leave that uh, in the comments field below. And if you don't know how to subscribe, you can click on the uh, thing in the right corner below. Thank you so much and I'm really appreciate to have you uh, here on my channel today. Let's go in for the Docker environment. I will just go in here for the terminal and uh, then I will just download uh, the metric beat. I think that's the right name. And uh, I'm really not uh, sure how it's uh, pronounced correct, but I think metric beat maybe. Yeah. And uh, that's it. We want to install it. And uh, when we are ready to install it, we can. Uh, yeah, we're just waiting to it's setting up. And then we can go inside and go in here and say to do we need the jaml file and uh, I need to say output elastic and we have it here below and the host name it's not localhost it's my test IP address for my dog environment and uh, then we are good to go here that's perfect and uh, then we need to, to set up koi kibana we have it here and the host name we need uh, to change to so let's do this and of course you need to change it for your uh, elk stack host name save it and, and exit again and uh, then you can just say to do and model enable docker models and then we have enabled the docker and we can just go inside here to models and open the docker i'll just catch it out and you can see something inside here um, we need to enable everything we can so so do nano um, docker here and we just say the disk invent health check info memory and network and every 10 seconds we want and we can say it, it needs to go in for unix uh, var runs and that's it that's what we want to do and i think probably that's it so let's save it and set it up here this one can take a little while so it depends on your system when it's done we will start the start up now it's when it's finished we want to say service and here and start up let's going back for the interface here on the LK stack i'm just going for the dashboard and uh, let's try one more time here and then you say dogger search for the dogger and that's what we want and it's, it's take a little while but you can always already see now we have it up here and that's good we have uh, memory used we have three nodes you can see it here running six we have no paused and no stopped and we have a docker swarm manager one that's the nodes we have and here it's everything it's running up so now you can see your docker interface and everything is uh, running smooth and we used 1.5 gigabytes and uh, if you've seen the first video of, of mine you, you see i have some kind of problem uh, i have five nodes and and only it's running on two gigabytes or something like that and I discovered that's the problem and you can see we have uh, three containers this is the container you can see which container it's running on of which kind of um, of memory and that's very useful if you need to investigate what's happening in your docker swarm or your docker 
container system. So I will uh, recommend you this. It's very nice and very useful. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you to have you here today. And I'm really happy to, to teach you. And I really hope you enjoy this video. I hope you want to subscribe to this channel. If you don't know how to do this, you can do it in the right corner below and press on the thing. Then you will subscribe and you will always uh, get videos from me. And if you have any questions, please make the comments below. I will be very happy to answer you as fast as I can. And if you have kind of uh, questions and feedback and stuff like that, and then I can improve my videos. I hope you want to hit the like button and the share button so your friends uh, know what you're learning. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.